नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन सिंगुलर पॉइंट ऑफ एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन फर्स्टली वी डिफाइन द सिंगुलर पॉइंट ऑफ एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन ए पॉइंट हुएर ए गिवेन फंक्शन इज नॉट एनालिटिक is called a singular point of the given analytic function example let function of z equal to 1 by z minus 5 here if a z minus 5 equal to 0 then फांगशन अफ जेड उल बी इक्वल टू वन बीरो हुईच इज आनडिफाइंड दैट इज एट जेड इक्वल टू फाइव द फांगशन अफ जेड इज नट डिफाइंड hence function of z is not analytic at z equal to 5 therefore z equal to 5 is a singular point because at this point the function is not analytic our definition is a point where given function is not analytic is called a singular point here at z equal to 5 the function is not analytic that is z equal to 5 is a singular point here this is argon plane x y here z equal to 5 means on real axis if we take a neighborhood for z equal to 5 let us consider a neighborhood of z equal to 5 here at any point let z1 be let z1 be a point in the neighborhood of z equal to 5 since z1 minus 5 is not equal to 0 because z equal to 5 is at the center of the circle and z1 is inside the circle but z1 is not equal to 5 so function of z is analytic at every point in the neighborhood but at z equal to 5 function of z is not analytic that is except the point z equal to 5 the function of z is analytic at every points in the neighborhood so z equal to 5 is an isolated point means except this point at every point function of z is analytic so z equal to 5 is a singular point and 
it is called isolated singular point means only at this point function is not analytic but at every point in its neighborhood the function of z is analytic so z equal to 5 is called an isolated singular point now we define the term isolated singular point a point z not is said to be isolated singular point if a function of z is not analytic at z equal to z naught but analytic at each point in some neighborhood of z naught now we would like to see the example of non isolated singular point Let function of z equal to ten one by z and this equal to sine one by z by cos one by z. Let this is number one. When cos one by z equal to 0 function of z is not defined therefore function of z is not analytic that is cos 1 by z equal to 0 implies that 1 by z equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 2 n equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 dot 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 implies that 1 by z equal to pi 2n plus minus half implies that z equal to 1 by pi 2n plus minus half and this tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. If we put the value of inf n infinity then 1 by infinity that means 0. Therefore z equal to 0 is a singular point of function of z here we see z equal to 0 also z equal to 1 by pi 2n plus 1 by 2 is the singular points of function of z for different values of n the point z equal to 1 by pi 2n plus half lie in the neighborhood of 
जेड इक्वल टू जीरो सो फंक्शन ऑफ जेड इज नॉट ओनली नॉन एनालिटिक एट जेड इक्वल टू जीरो बट ऑल्सो नॉन एनालिटिक एट मेनी पॉइंट्स इन द नेबरहुड जेड इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर वी सी दैट फंक्शन ऑफ जेड इज नॉट एनालिटिक एट जेड इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फंक्शन ऑफ जेड इज नॉट एनालिटिक एट मेनी पॉइंट इन द नेबरहुड ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू जीरो हेंस जेड इक्वल टू जीरो इज नॉट आइसोलेटेड सिंगुलर पॉइंट ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ जेड दिस सिंगुलर पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड नॉन आइसोलेटेड सिंगुलर पॉइंट ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ जेड एग्जाम्पल वन फंक्शन ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू नाइन जेड प्लस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय जेड मल्टीप्लाई अंडर ब्रैकेट जेड माइनस एट अंडर ब्रैकेट जेड प्लस सेवन हियर फॉर जेड जेड माइनस एट जेड प्लस सेवन इक्वल टू जीरो द फंक्शन ऑफ जेड इज नॉट डिफाइंड दैट इज फंक्शन ऑफ जेड इज नॉट एनालिटिक देर फॉर फॉर जेड इक्वल टू जीरो जेड इक्वल टू एट जेड इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन फंक्शन ऑफ जेड इज नॉट एनालिटिक दीज पॉइंट्स आर आइसोलेटेड सिंगुलरिटीज सिंगुलर पॉइंट्स ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ जेड एग्जाम्पल टू फंक्शन ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू जेड मल्टीप्लाई जेड माइनस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय जेड स्क्वेर प्लस सेवन हियर जेड इक्वल टू प्लस स्क्वेर रूट सेवन एंड जेड इक्वल टू माइनस स्क्वेर रूट सेवन आर आइसोलेटेड सिंगुलर पॉइंट्स Now, let z equal to z not be an isolated singular point of function of z. Let this is z equal to z not. therefore function of z is not analytic at z equal to z not let us draw a small circle with radius r and सेंटर जेड इक्वल टू जेड नॉट नाउ लेट अस ड्रॉ एनादर सर्कल 
radius of this circle is small r and radius of this circle is capital R. Let us draw another circle with center z equal to z naught and radius capital R greater than small r. The function function of z is analytic in ring shaped region that means at all points in this ring shaped region. Therefore function of z may be expanded in Lorentz series as follow function of z equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus z naught to the power n plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n z minus z naught whole to the power minus n let this is number 1 the second term sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n z minus z naught to the power minus n is called the principal part of function of z if a number of terms in principal part of the function is finite. Let number of terms equal to m then the fz may be written as function of z equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus z naught to the power n plus b1 by z minus z naught plus b2 by z minus z naught square plus dot 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 plus bm z minus z naught whole to the power m then z equal to z naught is called a pole of order m if principal part contains a single term then z equal to z naught is called a simple pole therefore a pole of order 1 is called a simple pole if the principal part of the function function of z contains infinite number of
terms then the singular point z equal to z not is called essential singular point example function of z equal to e to the power 1 by z since e to the power 1 by z is 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by factorial to z square plus 1 by factorial theory z cube plus dot 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 to infinity. This may be written as 1 plus 1 by z minus 0 plus 1 by factorial to z minus 0 whole square plus 1 by factorial theory z minus 0 whole cube plus dot 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 dot. This part is principal part. Therefore, the principal part contains infinite number of terms. Therefore, z equal to 0 is an essential singular point. If z equal to z not be a singular point, of the function fz and if a fz does not contain any term in its principal part when it is expanded in Lorentz series then z equal to z naught is called removable singular point example let function of z equal to sin z by z for z equal to 0 the function is not defined so at z equal to 0 function of z is not analytic Hence, z equal to 0 is a singular point. Now, sin z by z equal to 1 by z, z minus z q by factorial theory plus z to the power 5 by factorial 5 minus dot 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 implies that function of z equal to sin z by z equal to 1 minus z square by factorial 3 plus z to the power 4 by factorial 5 minus dot 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 
here we do not get any negative power of z hence there is no term in the principal part of function of z hence z equal to 0 is called a removable singular point in this case z equal to 0 is called a removable singular point so we have already learned about the singular point Singular point means function of z is not analytic at that point. Then we learn isolated singular point. Isolated singular point means the function is not analytic at a point, but it is analytic in the neighborhood of that singular point. And this type of singular point is called isolated singular point. Then we learn pull. When we expand the function in Lorentz series, we get the principal part. If the number of terms in principal part be finite, then we say that that singular point is the pole if the number of terms in principal part be m then we say that the pole is of order m if number of terms in principal part be infinite then we call that singular point as essential singular point then we learn removable singular point means during the expansion of the function if we do not get any term in principal part then that singular point is called removable singular point thanks for watching my video if you are satisfied with my presentation and contents, then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.